Chuck in Omaha, Nebraska writes, and he says, I may not understand the concept of DSD, but I was wondering, since it's a better recording and playback format, which it is, is it possible to convert analog to DSD playback on an analog system, uh, similar in the way that a DAC, for instance, as a standalone component or within a CD player, converts digital to analog for analog playback? If this could be done, where we convert the analog in our systems to DSD for better sound, audiophiles could purchase analog to DSD converters, just like DACs are used today. Okay. Yes, Chuck, and good, good thinking. I think, though, there's a little confusion. So, DSD is pulse density modulation. It's a very different form of digital encoding. There's PCM, pulse code modulation. There's pulse wave modulation, um, width, sorry, uh, PWM, pulse width modulation, which is what class D amps are. And, and I think what I'll, one of the things I'll do is, is uh, uh, probably just do a little explanation about how all that works. But We start with analog in the recording studio. Then we use what's called an analog to digital converter, just exactly what Chuck's talking about, to capture that analog sound. So we might have a stereo microphone and we have a singer playing a guitar and there's that stereo microphone. We're going to take that microphone, we're going to put it through a preamplifier to boost up its level and then we're going to put it into what's called an analog to digital converter. And from there, we get a digital output. Now we can choose pulse code modulation or DSD. Most studios, 99.99999% of the world is using PCM. And it's a fine format. It just doesn't get all the detail and where you want to go if you're trying to perfectly capture that analog sound. Can PCM do it? Yes. But you'd have to have extremely high sample rates in order to get anywhere near pulse density modulation, which is in DSD. It's a lot easier just to use the DSD format. For example, DSD runs just single rate DSD, and there's single, double, triple, quad, you know, um, there's all these rates, and those are higher and higher frequencies. So single rate DSD runs at what we call 64 FS. And that means that compared to 44.1 kilohertz, which is the sample rate of a CD, and, and, and very briefly, that just means that every 44 100 thousandths of a second, we divide a second up into 44,000 slices, and with each slice, we take a snapshot of the analog signal, and we turn that into a digital number, and that's PCM. DSD runs at 64 times faster speed than PCM. That's just single rate. So that's what 64FS means. So it's running at about 2.8 million cycles per second. Now, PCM, when it takes that little 44 thousandths of a second snapshot, it converts it into a whole number that could, any, could be anywhere from here all the way down to here and everywhere in between. Pulse density modulation, DSD, does it in a very different way. Here we have very fast 2.8 megahertz up to about 11 megahertz snapshots. And the snapshot, all it's doing is basically giving you a one or a zero. And if the music's over a certain point, you're gonna get a bunch of ones. And as it lowers down, you get fewer ones. So that at the end of the day, the density of these very high sample rate uh, windows into the amplitude of, you know, of, the, of the frequency, uh, are either on or off. And as you look at the whole thing, you can actually see the music. So where it's a very soft part, 
you have these big spaces, you know, it's one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one. Or when it's loud, it's one, 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 one. And I, I don't have the ability with my simple little stupid camera and me just sitting here yapping, <laughs> going over all of that to show you. But just, just look it up and you can, you can see pulse density modulation. And it's really obvious how it works. So with that said, and that bit of background, the question comes back to this. Would it help in an analog system, let's say I was playing my turntable, to then convert it to DSD to get better sound? And the answer is no. You're not going to get better sound than the original source, which is analog. What you can hope for and what DSD provides is to not have any loss in the analog sound and to be able to capture it in such a way that we lose nothing which doesn't happen with PCM and certainly doesn't happen with tape or even direct cut vinyl. But with DSD, what we use at Octave Studios exclusively, you capture everything without loss. Hope that helps. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.